All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry. Fourteen months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Talk to Kandros if you haven't. He's unfortunately become the head of our military. And as soon as he realizes it, we're in the shit. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel, not headed by Tan, or even me. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the Initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a Pathfinder until they've path-found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. 
Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So, what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. <sighs> Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Dussoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but he's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever.
ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Alec, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow, hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. 
This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. He removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. 